changes. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome into the channel and it is Wednesday, today's July 15th, 2020. Hopefully you paid your taxes today. If you didn't, make sure you got an extension. I believe you get until midnight. So if you're watching this video, you haven't done it, go on there, ask for an extension or get them filed before 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. With that said, eBay, a huge announcement today. I was literally just reading through it on my iPad here. And effective August 1st, 2020, that's in two weeks. We are updating our selling fees with additional permanent zero monthly insertion fee listings so that you can continue to introduce, test, and sell new inventory. Yay, eBay is increasing the amount of free listings that every store subscriber will get every month, but it is in select categories. Let me read further. These changes will be available to all eBay sellers and you don't need to take any action all ebay sellers without a store as well maybe without a store as well i thought it was only with stores this spring they of course announced the free 50,000 listing promotion to battle the c19 um it seems like it did really well with people really pumping out more listings the number of additional monthly zero listing uh, insertion fee listings sellers will receive are determined by their ebay store subscription level so yes it does require a store subscription i was Caught there for a minute. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Okay, sellers who have been invited and signed up for managed payments will receive additional monthly zero insertion fee listings in select categories. So let's go ahead and click on it. It's a link that is in the messages. I will provide the direct link down below. What is changing August 1st, 2020? Free listing promotions that we announced in the spring were received enthusiastically by eBay sellers and proved to be a powerful and effective selling tools in challenging in the challenging C19 environment, and we want to help you keep the positive momentum going. On August 1st, 2020, we'll update our selling fees with permanent free monthly fixed price and auction listings so you can continue to introduce, test, sell new inventory. These changes will be available to all eBay sellers. You do not need to take any action, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here's the updates, here it goes. And I'm going to screenshot this somewhere in the corner so you guys can see this, of course, okay. Free monthly zero insertion fee listings, all sellers, non-store, starter store, and basic store subscribers. So a store subscription before August 1st had a monthly zero insertion fee listings after August 1st, 2020. So they've got a side-by-side. -side. You can kind of see it. I'll try to zoom it up. So a non-store had 50 auction or fixed price listings. After August 1st, you're going to get 200 free fixed or auction. So as a non-store, 50 was your previous one. Although a lot of you got promotions, I know that. Now you're gonna get 200. The starter store was 100 auctions or fixed prices. After August 1st, you will get 250, which used to be the old basic level. I believe that store is like five bucks a month. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. The basic store used to be 250 free uh, fixed price listings and 250 auction listings in fashion and collectibles. After August 1st, 350 fixed price, that's 100 additional, that's awesome, and 250 auction listings in fashion and collectibles, so that stays the same. Okay, additional benefits for sellers for basic, premium, anchor, and enterprise. So basic, we just talked about, had 250 fixed price listings in all categories and 250 auctions. Going forward, you're gonna keep your 250 free auctions and your 350 fixed price as opposed to 250 and 10,000 fixed price listings in select categories. So I'll tell you what those select categories are in a minute. Essentially, all of your auctions, 250 will be free. Any above that you'll pay for. 350 fixed price in the all categories not included in the select categories and 10,000 in the select categories. Premium stores, we used to get 1,000 fixed price, that's buy it nows, and 500 auction listings, that was our free, which I thought we only got 250 auctions. I don't ever do auctions, so I'll pay attention. Now we're going to get our same 500 auctions. It looks like the auctions are staying the same. We're gonna get our same 1,000 in fixed prices, but we're gonna get 50,000 counted if the item falls into these select categories. The anchor store used to be 1,000 auctions and 10,000 fixed price. You'll keep those and you'll get 75,000 additional in select categories. 
And then the enterprise store was 2,500 auctions, 100,000 fixed price. You'll keep those and you'll get an additional 100,000 fixed in the select categories. What are these select categories? Sports memorabilia, cards and sporting cards, sporting trade, trading cards, sports, tra ah, sports trading cards category. Toys and hobbies for collectible card games, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, things like that. Collectibles. Um, that's a wide array. Collectibles is a huge category. Uh, Funko Pop is collectible. Um, collectible card games, collectible action figures, Star Wars, things like that, all collectible. Music, that's a big category. Books, a lot of you guys are booksellers. DVDs and movies, uh, not a good category, but okay. Stamps, there's a few of you. Popeye, I'm looking at you, buddy. Popeye's going to get those extra free listings in his, his stamp, or his, uh, oh no, Popeye is postcards. Sorry, Popeye, you're not a stamp seller. Nix that. Uh, video game consoles and video games. So it specifically says video games and consoles, arrow video games. So I'm guessing it's not the consoles, it's just the games. Somebody help me out there. Um, but a lot of you video game sellers. I'm a video game seller. That's going to help. Crafts. How many people here, hands up in the chat, in the comment, how many of you guys are craft sellers? I imagine that's going to be yarn, craft supplies, um, handmade stuff, uh, crochet, latch hook. Uh, I'm assuming anything in the category, whether it be an actual craft or if it's a craft supply or a craft tool will qualify for that. Not 100% sure. Um, home and garden, greeting cards, party supply, party supplies. Um, so not the entire home and garden category, just the greeting cards and party supplies, it looks like. Uh, it does say category restrictions um, apply, which if I click that, it goes to uh, a little like how-to, little um, breakdown. Uh, doesn't say anything else really that's different. So it looks like that's just going to be the breakdown for those categories. So big improvement, big increase for everyone. Um, let me know in the comments, do you use these categories? Is it gonna help you or is it worthless? Some of you are only clothing and shoe sellers, so I don't think it's gonna help you very much. You'll keep the same numbers, but for people that sell collectibles, books, DVDs, video games, very helpful. Now, let me give you guys my input on this. I've got two questions for eBay. One question for eBay, one question for you guys. Number one is for you guys. If your category is not included, let's say that you sell only clothes and shoes, is this going to motivate you to branch out to other categories because now it doesn't cost you anything to list them as an insertion fee anyways? Maybe you've always wanted to try books or maybe you want to try collectibles. You can add them with no risk, no cost of insertion. Okay, so that's number one. Question to you guys. How many of you will branch out to other categories because they've added this free amount of listings for those categories outside of your normal category, which maybe clothing, maybe it's something else. Okay, the second question I have and I'm trying to read this and it's not clear. The question I have is for eBay. Let's say that you have, let's say that you have 1000 books listed, right? Those books count as the other categories. So let's say you have a premium store, 1000 free, and then an additional 50,000 in the other category. And then let's say you list 1000 pieces of clothing, right? Now the clothing doesn't count as the other category. Let's say that you already have your books listed. Do the books take away from the 1,000 fixed price that you start with and then the 1,000 clothes will be charged? Or do they know to assign the books to the free category and the clothes and shoes that are not included in those other categories to your normal 1,000? And so it, it automatically recognizes this. And that way, if you have 2,000 items, like 1,000 books, 1,000 clothes, it knows the 1,000 clothes take up your 1,000 normal. Your 1,000 books are in the free part of the 50,000 you're not charged for anything. As opposed to, let's say you had 500 and 500 up and that took away the thousand. And then let's say you list 500 more books and 500 more clothing. Well, the 500 books we know are free because they go in the other category. And then when you list those 500 clothes, they're going to charge you for that. As opposed to moving the other 500 books over here to free, the 500 clothes over here to your normal 1000 and washing it out again. Good question for eBay. Something I'm going to have to message them and ask. Uh, I would think that their software and their website would be smart enough to know that it goes in one category or the other. Anyways, this is the chart that I will show you guys. I'll link it up in the corner somewhere. And of course, as always, 
I will take this direct link and put it down in the description box below this video. You can click it, you can read it yourself. And if you have any further comments, questions, concerns, or anything else, please do not hesitate to put it down in the box. I've been answering a ton of them and I am watching them all day and night. I answer them myself. The answers will only come from me and uh, hopefully I can get to as many as possible. So thank you guys as always for watching. Good job on eBay to help us out a little bit. Uh, if you're not in any of these categories, maybe it's time to expand. Uh, pick up my 2020 package. It covers all of these categories, where to get some of this stuff, how to get it, what to get, what to uh, buy it for, what to sell it for. It's worth having. It's the package link below. You can't beat it. And uh, this is your chance because it doesn't cost you anything to list it. No risk and uh, no downside to it. Of course, no risk, no reward. Keep that in mind. Thanks, guys. As always, give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on so you don't miss any more news updates or important things like this coming directly from eBay or Amazon or Posh or anywhere else that you guys sell on. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you next time.